After a two-year campaign of harassment that left sports presenter Laura Woods living in real fear, a passionate female football fan was sentenced to prison. The 25-year-old Harneet Kaur called Ms. Woods a prostitute in foul texts, made disparaging remarks about her online, and repeatedly delivered food to her house without permission. Kaur, a follower of Liverpool football who went by the internet handle, Crazy Harns, allegedly made threats to harm and kidnap Ms. Woods' dog and set up a delivery of a sexual health testing kit and a Bible to her home. According to Ms. Woods' victim impact statement, the ill campaign, which started in June 2021 and ran until September 2023, had an enormous and devastating effect. The 36-year-old traverses the nation for interviews and games as a presenter for TNT Sports, formerly known as BT Sports. The prosecution claimed that Ms. Woods had a genuine fear because of Coors' acts that the defendant might approach her in her place of employment. Due to her nervousness, she has been compelled to tighten security both at home and at work. Due to her ticket hawking, Cor, who has autism, has already been barred from Liverpool's Anfield Stadium. Her attorney asserted that her autism caused obsession and compulsion, which was the reason for her offense. Judge Talag Davies, who sentenced her to 14 months in prison on Friday, asserted that she was aware of the effect she was having on Ms. Woods. Kaur's effort began in June 2021, according to Anthony Muller, the prosecutor at Wolverhampton Crown Court, when she used Just Eat to schedule a delivery of Krispy Kreme donuts to Ms. Woods' London residence. He stated that at first, Ms. Woods was pleasantly surprised and thought it was a mistake or somebody being nice. She then shared a picture of the experience on Twitter with the caption, They made her evening. She did not realize this was to be the start of a campaign against her, he continued, nevertheless. Ms. Woods then received a chocolate lollipop with a note that read, from your secret admirer and I'm not crazy, along with a just-eat order from Starbucks. Then, according to Mr. Muller, everything turned much darker. Ms. Woods was described as a former prostitute who slept herself into a job in one of the disgusting notes that were sent. Kaur's iPad indicated that she had been to the London Road where Ms. Woods resided in July of that year. Additional communications from an account connected to Kaur referred to Ms. Woods as a vile, stuck-up person online. Despite being taken into custody on April 8, 2022, and having her phone and iPad confiscated, Kaur persisted in making disparaging remarks on Ms. Woods' Wikipedia page and recording her voicemail on Instagram. Prior to a match that Cor was scheduled to attend, she also sent texts claiming that Ms. Woods was Tory and that she wasn't welcome in Liverpool. According to Mr. Muller, even when Cor was detained once more in August 2022 and authorities confiscated another iPhone, it didn't stop her. She shared an image of Ms. Woods' visage on an overweight man with the caption, WTF is that cokehead doing at Anfield, in October. The prosecution wanted Cor barred from all national football grounds, all of Newcastle, where Ms. Woods' boyfriend, Adam Collard, resides, and large portions of London. But it was deemed excessively harsh by the judge. Instead, he issued a restraining order, prohibiting her from coming within 500 meters of the presenter's house and from communicating with Ms. Woods and 14 other individuals. This defendant has never met Laura Woods, she has never spoken to her, she has never approached her, this is why this case is very different from many others that come before the courts, Bulbir Singh stated in mitigation. According to him, Kaur was unable to comprehend the effects on Ms. Woods because of her severe degree of autism which debilitated all aspects of her life. Kaur, who resides in Walsall with her parents, our accountants, acknowledged stalking during a previous hearing. Ms. Woods chose not to respond.